Assalamualaikum Today we are going to talking about uh, railing, glass railing, how to create a glass rail in, in Revit. So let's start. So first, I just uh, close this, uh, close this tab. Start from the uh, beginning. Now, click the new, uh, create a project, architectural template. So, uh, so go to a uh, maneuver uh, architecture section and select the railing. Then simply uh, draw. There is a, a draw uh, section, uh, different shapes, uh, different shapes draw tool. We see. So uh, just create a line. Okay. Create a line. Then, if we uh, if we uh, if we want to see a rail, a preview, just click it and go to uh, 3D. Uh, select go uh, to 3D then finish okay this is the basic uh, rail how to draw a railing and now we uh, some customize uh, customize this rail to uh, Transfer a glass rail. Select a rail, then go to a properties panel and in drop down menu. You see a basic some railing uh, in all uh, architect uh, Autodesk Revit. When you open the software and create a railing, you will see uh, in properties panel in uh, uh, drop down menu. This is the uh, glass panel and the guard rail pipe, guard rail rectangle, okay, and handrail pipe, hand handrail rectangle. Uh, this type of uh, railing already uh, uh, by default created in uh, every uh, Revit software. So I just select uh, one rail which is uh, include a glass panel. Just glass panel on bottom of the just select this rail. Now we just uh, we have to customize this rail. Okay. Before that, uh, if we uh, see this railing, this top rail and uh, uh, this horizon top rail and uh, beneath this uh, some rail and post. This is the um, this is the profile actually this is the profile family included this uh, horizontal bar. Uh, this uh, this bar create uh, this is actually a profile. Uh, profile means uh, we have to create a new uh, profile family and then load this project load into this project. Now then we uh, cre uh, create this uh, horizontal bar and top rail. So go to the uh, profile family first. Go to the profile family. File, new, then uh, family, press family and select profile. Okay, then open. Now. So just draw. Uh, now we create uh, in this profile. We create a two-dimensional uh, drawing. Now create a reference plane. In keyboard shortcut, uh, reference plane is RP. And uh, in uh, properties pan uh, a tool panel, reference plane is here. Hmm. Reference plan. Now uh, just draw a reference plan here and just mirror this reference plan.
now draw a reference plane a horizontal reference plane this is the, actually this is the center line okay this is the main reference plane which is place uh, th this reference plane uh, is the main guideline so draw create the draw line uh, before uh, uh, I just forget uh, create a reference plane RP draw a reference plane and now uh, place a dimension for a create a parameter so di in keyboard shortcut di just click this reference plane then click middle for part and click another reference plane just create this uh, place this anywhere and then press the eq we have to equal in both side reference plane now create a dimension again uh, this should be a create a parameter yes, and create this parameter uh, called uh, uh, length just leave it for type ok then uh, create another uh, parameter di click the center line of this uh, file reference plan then click this other horizontal reference plan and select the dimension and create a parameter height I leave it for type ok ok and just uh, round this uh, dimension say 2 inch and this dimension then say 3 inch or this also can be uh, 2 inch ok now create a line select the line and create a rectangle select rectangle just draw it and lock this uh, line to reference plane If we not log, uh, log this uh, uh, log this reference plan with reference line, uh, it should uh, it will uh, not work. This uh, length parameter and uh, height parameter. You will see when I uh, click on family types, just one inch and create uh, say 3 inch and then apply see this parameter will work just working now uh, just uh, I just got uh, back to the uh, parameter 2 inch this parameter 2 inch then ok and this uh, just uh, save this file control s save file practice railing profile Okay, uh, this is the railing profile. Just option, go to option and uh, write one backup file and save. <coughs> now load this uh, profile into this project. This project. So load into project and close uh, uh, we don't need to this load into project we don't need this file open if we uh, open this file just load into project click the load into project if we not uh, then load into project and close load into project and close and then uh, where is the profile 
uh, how to apply this uh, profile in this trailing section uh, don't worry uh, just uh, show you I will show you this uh, how to apply uh, this profile in this railings area just select the railing and go to properties panel and click the edit type then uh, click the first of all we have to duplicate this rail duplicate this railing say glass rail glass rail okay now go to the rail structure rail structure then uh, there is a two profile two profile which is one rail one rail two we need to uh, assign one rail so another rail have to delete okay, delete it okay then apply first of all uh, select and we will see the preview and okay you see this preview this preview uh, railing now go to the uh, baluster placement in baluster placement just select this profile and delete it delete this profile there is a, uh, another baluster profile which is a glass panel which profile we have to uh, place and customize, customize this in this array so in this ray uh, what is the meaning of this uh, what is the meaning of this parameter and also under this parameter in bottom section uh, we will not talk about this um, uh, parameter in bottom section we will talk about this upper side in uh, main pattern and also top rail function so uh, actually we need to Oh, by the way, uh, we have to uh, delete this post. So go to this uh, bottom section in start corner. Say none. All of the post will be none. Then uh, apply. See. Then OK. After that. We have to uh, apply this uh, rail uh, in top area, in top bar, and apply a profile which uh, which we are uh, already created in a profile uh, profile family. So so then uh, go to the type area. So before that, we have to create a in family section go to left side in project browser and go to uh, click uh, maximize this family option and go to rail go to rail and just uh, i need to uh, I need to search uh, any uh, any type of family just select it and right button click and search say rail it will be uh, very easy to search the any kind of family rail then next and close see the actually there is a railing rail already select and also uh, just scroll uh, this bar and uh, this is the railing ok now glass rail railing and uh, uh, we have to uh, find out the profile the profile is already is here uh, we have to go to the profile section 
and search the profile name say where is the profile there is it uh, this is the railing profile and just click this profile and here is the uh, dimension parameter now we have to rename this profile say top rail top rail and then enter and I need to duplicate this top rail the right button uh, click this top rail and right button click and select the duplicate now we uh, we write this uh, rename this top rail say bottom rail bottom rail we can uh, we can define these two things uh, just uh, on this side area uh, say glass uh, we can write uh, a glass name so easily we can recognize this uh, profile so then go to the uh, select the railing and select the edit type just uh, transfer convert in 3d view and uh, select this rail structure non-continuous okay this profile section you have to, uh, click the drop down menu and we have to find out the name railing profile here is it bottom rail and top rail we need to select a uh, bottom rail bottom rail and uh, just uh, need to uh, assign a material just click it and say steel say just uh, click the metal stainless steel or any kind of uh, or aluminium I just select the metal stainless steel we are not talking about the material about uh, just uh, uh, just this keep this material uh, we uh, we have to talk about this material after any uh, next video so don't worry okay just uh, select the material and click it and just uh, say height is will be zero then apply okay then okay. okay now we need to set the baluster placement so it should be a uh, top rail and the base should be a uh, rail one isn't it top rail uh, actually a uh, base rail actually i have to sketch to understand how it uh, it will work before that i need to uh, i need to set a uh, top rail change the top rail profile i just uh, okay this bar this uh, window select the uh, uh, select the railing and edit go to edit type okay then select the top rail uh, top rail type and click this button and first of all we have to duplicate this uh, type then select say top rail square Class. Just any kind of name. Okay. Then uh, apply this. Apply this profile and this section. This is the top rail, 
and uh, uh, just hand zero the hand clearance for now and then and clear uh, select the apply the material click this button and say wood I just select uh, the any kind of wood say this is the this is the material need to select it then ok apply ok now uh, we have to place the glass just select the railing and edit type and go to the uh, to orient change the orientation front or left okay uh, actually um, the select uh, rail structure by baluster placement and just uh, just create a drawing a snapping tool we need to find out the what is the base what is the base offset what is the top and top offset and distance previous so go to the snapping tool click new just simply draw this section Uh, what is the base? Okay, uh, there is the zero four inch is the base. This is the uh, this is the baseline. This is the baseline, and uh, this is the top line. Actually, isn't it? Uh, this, uh, we uh, need to create. Uh, we just show a baseline. If we base offset change and and this is the offset how to, how to place how to place a glass this glass and how to distance operate this from this line and if we place the dimension different number uh, this offset will change quickly I will show you just cause this snapping tool in base uh, we just uh, select uh, rail 1 rail 1 the apply ok actually uh, top rail in top rail apply ok here is it this is the glass and the uh, base offset should be a uh, zero actually is it zero okay nice zero then uh, top offset uh, should be a uh, zero okay uh, we will fix this now and distance from previous what is the meaning of this distance from previous okay distance from previous actually go to the uh, any kind of any front elevation ok what is the meaning of distance previous actually uh, there is a glass panel length uh, dimension is which is this uh, two feet nine inch in length this is the uh, in, in another uh, this glass panel family created already uh, in this uh, furniture uh, sorry in this rabbit family rabbit project uh, in by default glass panel already created in uh, say rail rail structure family in family uh, they create a glass so already set the parameter and create a length so it is created a uh, 2 feet 9 inch we will talk about later uh, how to create this uh, this baluster family for now 
this uh, we have to decide how to place this glass in railing section so we see the glass panel uh, length is 2 feet 9 inch which is i just draw again scrapping tool create uh, glass panel length is here this line from to this line this is the length Okay, this is the 2 feet 9 inch and uh, uh, distance from previous means this glass panel have a uh, this middle line portion and another uh, glass panel when placed this after or before this glass panel this line to another glass uh, the middle portion of the another glass panel this is the dimension between previous line from previous okay and uh, we have to distance previa previous uh, is uh, actually uh, the half of this glass we find out the half length of this glass which is 2 feet 9 inch is half of the 2 feet 9 inch say Twenty-four inch, nine inch, thirty-three inch. Okay, say so thirty-three inch length divided by two. So there is the uh, final. We will find out already, which is one foot four inch for uh, one foot four point five inch. This is the uh, uh, we already find. Just close this snapping tool and place this uh, number 0.5. Actually, uh, one foot four inch 0.5 is actually two uh, point two five. It's 0.25. Then also. 4.25 one foot inch this is the right uh, dimension of parameter of this for this glass panel because uh, this is the 2 feet 9 inch uh, half of the half of this glass panel we will to place this parameter now go to the uh, rail uh, for left elevation and uh, in top side we will set a top offset say 2 inch if we set the 2 inch with uh, the what is this and uh, just place the reverse minus then apply now we get it then ok then ok we see glass panel already set in this uh, railing section we have to uh, we have to uh, set another side if we go to the elevation or section Just uh, draw a section. Just open this section. Now we see the railing already placed in this section, and uh, the railing section if we select this railing. We see we have to align this uh, top rail and bottom rail and middle for middle glass portion. So select this rail, then edit, click edit type. Go to the top rail section. 
before that we need to find out the find out the offset distance just select the dimension and uh, say this point to this point which is uh, say one almost uh, one inch more one one seventeen one twenty eight if we place this select the uh, railing then and go to the top rail section say hand clearance say minus 1 17 128 inch ok minus 1 space 117 divided by 128 inch then apply ok as you see the top rail already placed in middle line and go to the baluster placement uh, we need to set the baluster placement we need to set say click ok then uh, click the rail structure then offset i and offset say write the 17 divided by 128 inch this is the precision of the section then apply ok so as you see then okay so as you see the this uh, bottom rail and this top rail already set in middle portion so go to the 3d view and uh, uh, you see the two gla multiple glasses already uh, set in this railing portion but there is a uh, issue the two glass already in overlap and we have to solve this problem so just go to the just select the railing and edit type actually uh, if we select uh, open this plan and uh, we select just now okay just select the wireframe and we see the if we say uh, select the dimension so what is the gap dimension of this gap it's half inch okay just see the dimension and just uh, show this dimension is half inch then now just select uh, select this railing and click edit type and go to baluster structure which is uh, 1 foot 4 inch and now if we set say 1 uh, 16 inch 1 foot 4 inch and apply and apply ok then apply it will not work uh, because there is a problem of this and go to the baluster placement again and uh, say uh, 0.75 and also 0.75 ok apply you see there is a more gap also in half inch just select this uh, just select this railing go to edit type 
still it's a baluster placement and uh, just right in say half inch 0 0.5 0.5 inch then apply ok then apply So as you see the glass rail uh, already attached the multiple glass another glass just set this panel so this is how and uh, just create another railing and we will see then if we create a 90 degree say draw uh, another rail in 90 degree the glass rail is move. Just move this glass rail in, uh, in keyboard arrow. Select this glass rail and hmm. just set this glass rail in both right corner. Just finish it. Go to the 3D view. You see the glass panel is set in right way. If we uh, select the double click the glass rail, if we select this, uh, extend this glass rail, we see the uh, the, the bottom you know, the line just extend this line and glass rail automatically created in railing section in each module uh, which is uh, created the uh, type of glass pattern so we have to uh, we have to each and every day we have to decide each and every uh, uh, railing section when we place the glass panel in railing section uh, we need to decide what is the um, what is the pattern of the each glass panel then we uh, uh, place in right way in uh, in the railing so just finish this railing we can create any kind of any shapes of railing uh, select the railing cs is a arc type railing see finish it any kind of uh, any shapes of railing we can create uh, place the rail okay so that's it uh, we will uh, talk about the next video in next topic okay Thank you. Come on.